Now down here, you see there's a, that's a hex frog juicer there. And then over here, there's three mono frog juicers. Um, I actually have a total of 15 turnouts that need to be controlled uh, manually and then with frog juicers to change the polarity or phase on the uh, electro frogs. And I'm going to flip one so you can see how the lights change. This would be, this is number 10, so it should be on the big board. You'll see a momentary flash and then the light will change. It's the one in the upper left. You can see it. it's green there now. There it's, it's red, so it's changing the polarity. Now here is one. I have to look up my numbers. This should be on the same board. Yes. You see this light flash in the middle? And it's the one on the bottom right, not the all the way down, but the one, the second one down. You can see it go to red, here it goes to green. And then here's the one of the monos. See it turn green? It's the one on the on the right over here. They are fun to hook up but uh, they do work and I had one that I believe there's a bad output on the board um, and I've got that set off to the side but um, I think I did this wrong this time I did it all at once and then hooked it up and kind of kept my fingers crossed and I should have done it in a very methodical manner so what I ended up doing to trace the short was disconnect every wire. So all the track feeders, just the red ones, I left the green ones hooked up. And uh, rehooked them up one by one and uh, eventually traced down to, to a short. Now because the wiring is modular, it was e pretty easy to do but tedious. But uh, it took me a few days to figure out what to do. But anyway, that, that's where I'm at right now. And I'm still working on uh, what we call the town of Michelson. And that's, I, I got to get the uh, tortoises uh, to, throw to, sw to throw the points properly. And that's my fault. I didn't adjust them properly. I was too much in a hurry. But anyway, that's all for now. Bye.